I need to do a statement from you, okay? That's why we're here. And I will record her and do a little statement and get some questions from you. Answer. <coughs> Case number 1217629. It's Sunday, December 23rd, 2012. This is Sean Cares of Harris County Sheriff's Office Homicide, 60 Henry 42. The current time is 9.42 p.m. Uh, the incident occurred at 9538. Uh, Kelsey Meadows Circle. Uh, also with me is Sergeant Duce. Sergeant Duce, can you identify yourself? I'm 60 Henry 39. Okay. Ma'am, can you identify yourself for me? It's Sandra Milgar. Okay. What is your date of birth, ma'am? And your home address is where? Five three eight. Kelsey Meadows. Okay. Where were you at? Let's start from the morning when you woke up today. today. Where were you at? Yes. In my closet. This morning. I did, yes. Okay. What about yesterday? Let's start yesterday. <coughs> yesterday. <laughs> Which would be Saturday. Uh, we went up to eat. Okay, where'd y'all go eat at? Uh, Mexican restaurant. I think it was. Uh, um, Dombrados. Dombrados. Where? And what time was that? No, it wasn't like Dombrados. It was uh, Cucos. Cucos. Uh. I'm going to say about 8. I mean, I'm just guessing. I, I don't know. Okay, okay so approximately 8 o'clock mm -hmm. on Saturday. And then after that, what did you do? Was your husband? Who is your husband? Jamie. What is your husband's name? Jamie Melgar. Melgar. Was he with you when y'all went to eat? Okay. Then did y'all come home or go somewhere else? We went home, but we stopped at CVS. Okay, then what? Then we went home. And when you got home, what did y'all do? Um, we made some drinks. We went and got in the jacuzzi. And this is on Saturday. Saturday night. Jacuzzi, you're talking about the bathtub? The, the, in your master bathroom? Right. Jacuzzi? Both y'all got in the jacuzzi? Yes. Okay, then where were you sitting in the jacuzzi? Um, my back towards, on, I was on the left, the left, facing it. Facing on the left, so by the mirror in the sink on that side, the left side? Mm -hmm. Not the bathroom side? There's a mirror on both sides. It's okay, on both sides. but if you're just standing straight at it, you're on the left side. And then, what, where was your husband at? On the right side. Okay. And then what? Stayed there for about maybe two hours, talking and drinking. But what were you talking about? We were supposed to be celebrating our anniversary. When is your anniversary? Of December, and I'm sorry. What what time did you get into the jacuzzi? I don't keep track of time. I just sometime after we finished dinner. Went to dinner at eight. About, no, about eight. Maybe eight. We stayed there for what, a long while. What time did you get home? Um, probably midnight. Okay. I'm just guessing. I, I don't know. And did, did you immediately get into the jacuzzi at that time when you got home? We made drinks and went straight to the jacuzzi. Where'd you make the drinks? 
in the, well, we just grabbed the, we went to CVS to get the Coke and the Sprite. And we just grabbed the bottle of vodka and some ice. And went Which first. CVS did you go to? Right there on Gessner. Gessner and... Okay. So y'all, you went there on the way home, stopped off at CVS, mm -hmm. and then you went uh, home. Right. So sometime around midnight, you got home, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did y'all go straight to the jacuzzi at that time? Yeah. And <clears throat> which car were y'all traveling in to get home? Mine. The Infinity. The one that was in the garage? Mm -hmm. And so y'all pulled in there around midnight. Did you close the garage? I went in first. Mm -hmm. um, he had a couple, a couple of bag, well, our doggy bags, and what we got at CVS to get. So I think he made two trips. I don't know who closed. I went. I gr I grabbed the drinks and went to the tub. And I mean, he'd have to close the door behind the infinity. It was closed tonight, right? It was yeah. still, it was closed. Yeah. So, what about the other garage door? We, the only time he opens that one is if he's working or throwing out trash. So, was it closed when you got home last night? But besides, y'all yeah. had to open the one to get the car in the garage. Right. The other one was closed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you didn't know of him opening it back up last night. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So then y'all went straight in, and what what y'all did? Go. Let's go through the steps. We started running the tub, and you were dressed, right? Yeah. Okay. Go through the steps. Well, I got there first and started mixing the drinks, and then I got undressed and um, lit some candles. I think maybe he lit the candles. I think he lit the candles. Where did you get undressed? What were you wearing? I don't remember. Did y'all dress up? No. Okay. I don't remember. Uh, I think I was wearing black, brown slacks, a brown sweater, turtleneck. And brown boots. And he was wearing a black sweater over a shirt, I think a burgundy shirt, and some blue pants. So you went on in the bathroom and lit the candles. Mm -hmm. Is that where you got undressed? Is in the mm -hmm. bathroom? Okay. And what about him? Except my boots, I took them off in the bedroom okay. as soon as I walked in. Where did you put those? There, I left them in the bedroom. Usually by the TV. Where did he get undressed? I think in the closet, in his closet. Okay. Uh, so you went ahead and got in the, in the jacuzzi first. Mm -hmm. And then he came. Right. And then what? That's at midnight. Just stayed there for a while. Talking? Yeah. What else? Nothing. I mean, How long were y'all sitting there talking? I'd say about two hours. <coughs> and what were y'all talking about? The evening we've had about my daughter and about his job. Um, about <laughs> he was going to retire next year. And he was going to go on a trip. Nothing in particular. Any disagreement? No. No. Were y'all drinking that whole time that y'all were sitting there? We didn't drink much. I think I had two. I don't even think I finished the second. And we might have had three. Um, and I've been in there. And um, there were
were strawberries mixed to the top mm-hmm. and whipped cream. Did y'all eat any of those? We were gonna go to the bed. Okay, so y'all y'all didn't eat any of those. We might have had one or two, and that was it. And then we were gonna just go to the bed. Okay. And what happened? He got out. I think the dogs were barking a lot. Where, and where were your dogs at? We usually have them in that barricade in the. Uh, Daddy's area. I mean, their kitchen. How, many, kitchen. how many dogs do you have? I have four. <coughs> so you keep Your all puppies. four of them inside that barricade area? Yeah. Okay. That's where they were last night. Because the doggy door's there. Okay. So, so they can go in and out. Right. Like into the backyard? Yeah. So y'all were sitting there talking for a couple hours. Uh, and mm-hmm. what happened? Uh, <clears throat> he got out once to go get ice and then came back and then said he was going to put the dogs, move the dogs because they were barking too much. <coughs> what was he wearing? A towel. Okay. That was it. So he went and got ice and you say move the dogs. I think he took my, my fuzzy shoes, I'm not sure. Okay. And how long was that during the time y'all were there? Y'all sat there for a good solid two hours talking? Yeah. And he didn't move? He went out once to get ice. Okay. Where, where to to get ice? In the kitchen? Uh-huh. Then he comes back? Mm-hmm. I got out and went to the bathroom and got back in. There inside that bathroom? Okay. And that was it. Um, then... He got out and said he was moving the dogs to the office because when they're too loud, we don't want the neighbors to complain. So he moves. So that's what he did. And he just, you know, it was taking a while. So I got out and was going to get dressed or change in my closet. And I went in there and I started to change. That's all I remember until I woke up. And then I remember I woke up and I thought I had had a seizure because my muscles hurt and my head was just hurting real bad. And usually, lately I've been having trouble with uh, controlling my seizures. So, um, I dozed off again. I just fell asleep again until several hours later I woke up and realized I was tied up and I tried to flip over because my left side was all asleep. I had fallen asleep so I tried to flip over and then I kind of got stuck where I was for the rest of the time. That's all I remember. That's it. I mean, I would tell you more if I remembered more. I just don't. It's just. Do you have pain? Do I have pain? My my legs were cramping and my <coughs> wrists hurt from the. Nowhere else. Uh, I have pain in my head. Here. Like what? Like I got hit on the head. I don't know if I fell or was pushed or what, but I, you know, just like all alongside this side. So the time when he got out to go check on the dogs, to go move the dogs, what time was that? I say one or two in the morning. And when he did that, what kind of noises did you hear? Nothing. The jacuzzi was still running. Even when I got out, the jacuzzi was running. Sometimes we have to turn it off in the closet because the button won't work. So the turn it on. The jacuzzi was making noise. It was pretty loud. Mm-hmm. 
couldn't hear anything over that. I didn't hear anything. Hear anybody scream? No. Hear the dogs? Well, you could hear the dogs bark. Yeah, because they were right outside our window. <clears throat> so did he have to go outside to get them? I don't think so. Usually he just calls them and they come. They come in the doggy door? Yeah. So you don't have to open the door? Sometimes, yeah. Because some of the little ones don't want to come in. They're not... Now, if you opened getting. the door last night, you would have heard that, right? I don't think so. No. The front? No, you mean the back door? Well, whatever door no. you'd have to do, open again. I wouldn't have heard it, no. Okay. So when you're in the, in the jacuzzi, what are you wearing when you're in the jacuzzi? Nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. And then when, the, who, who found you today? Uh, my sister-in-law, Carmen. Okay, what were you wearing when your sister-in-law found you? This, this Your robe and this night gown. Did you have any underwear on, Randy's on? Mm -hmm. Did you have any shoes on? No, just these booties. Socks? Mm -hmm. And I want you to start where, when they, whoever found you at that point, what happened? Um, I heard, well, when I'd wake up, I'd hear the, the, the dogs crying, actually, um, <clears throat> whining, and then all of a sudden they started barking, and then that's when I heard their voices. Okay, and where are you at right this time? In the closet. But I was like up against the bottom of the the door. And so I started yelling. Okay, tell me what happened. They, they came in and uh, I think, I don't remember, I think I saw him first, uh, Herman. Or, or uh, her husband first, and he tried to untie it, and he couldn't. And untie what? The the ties in my hands and my feet. Okay, and how were you tied? Uh, behind, behind my back. Oh, yep, behind my back and my legs, also tied back here, but I couldn't straighten them. Um, Were your legs tied to your hands? No. No. But I couldn't reach my legs. My f I tried to untie my hands and then I tried to also reach my legs and I couldn't. Um, then I just couldn't reach. So you're in the closet and uh, Herman sh shows shows up because he hears you yelling. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what does he do at that point when he finds you? He tries to untie me and he couldn't. And so he walk. He gets right. Walks. Sees you in the closet. Walks right in. No, the chair was blocking it. There was a chair. I usually keep that chair inside. My closet. How was it blocking it? The door? I don't know, but I just saw when he moved it, it, it like blocked the chair, and then he, you know, the chair, when he, when he tried to open the door, the chair stopped it, and then he moved the chair, and then opened the door. And I was on the floor, and I told him to please untie me. And then, um, and then I heard screaming, and Carmen came running in, and she couldn't untie me either. And I said, "There's some scissors, and you know, you keep scissors in one of the drawers." Uh, and uh, 
Why was the family members over there today? Uh, my husband had invited them for lunch, for dinner. Your husband did? Mm-hmm. When, tonight? Or? No. A couple days ago, I think. Okay. Um, and they were going to, they're coming to eat at your house mm -hmm. tonight? And what were y'all cooking? His mom was bringing a turkey. And some sides. So when you're in the jacuzzi, at that point, what do you remember? You are sitting there and you are talking. I want a little more detail. What were y'all talking about when you were in the, in the jacuzzi, you and your husband at that time? We were just talking about what we're going to do in the future when, you know. <laughs> Where does he no. work at? Where does your husband work at? Uh, he works for HISD. And what does he do for HISD? He's a IT guy. And where do you work at? I don't work. Had no disagreements. No. At all. Along very well. You're having fights? Usually they were because of my daughter, but she's been gone for five years now, so no. Not anymore. And what were y'all's plans for the future? When you're sitting in jacuzzi, what y'all want to do in the future? We're gonna move and uh, travel. Move to where? Outside of Houston. And you're gonna travel? What else? Just, I mean, just travel. Just, we talked about trading my car in for something else, something, something to travel with. Um, just to talk about
what is your understanding? What what, what has happened? Uh, What's happened? Uh, what happened? I'm trying to remember if I think when we left CVS, there was a, a car following us because when we came in our neighborhood, it was still behind us, and he was really close. And my husband, I'd get upset with him because he. He would drive slower to when someone was tailgating him, and I tell him don't do that because you know it's dangerous. And so, um, but the guy turned left and we turned right, and so we thought it was just a coincidence. And I keep remember, trying to remember. What time that was, but he turned right, he turned left. What kind of car? I don't know, we just saw the headlights <coughs> right behind us from the time we left the TV. He would open the door to some stranger. I don't know if they took anything. trying to go for the gun. Where does he keep the gun? In the closet. What kind of gun? It's a Beretta. A pistol? Do you know where he keeps it in that closet? You no. Know, I wanted him to keep it in the safe, but... But... Safe, but it stays in that closet. Right. Yeah. You don't know where he would hide it in there. You keep it in the safe. So you think that the gun is locked in the safe now? I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't been in the safe in a long time. I don't know. So what makes you think he would go in the closet for the gun? Well, if someone was in the house to protect himself. I mean, that, is that where the gun's kept? Mm -hmm. In the closet? But not in the safe? No, he doesn't keep it in there. Do you know where in that closet that gun would have been? No. Sandra, when y'all came in last night, where, what door did y'all come in at? The garage door. And was the front door locked? Yeah, it's always locked, but you hardly ever use it. Okay, was the back door locked? Um, 
Did y'all lock it? Did you lock it or did he lock it last night? He was working outside yesterday. In the backyard or Before front Before he left, so I, I'm assuming he locked it. I didn't go out at all yesterday. You set the alarm? No. Do you have an alarm in the house? It's not monitored, so I never set it. Sometimes we'll set it when we go out, but not when we're home. Why we do that? Sandra, part of our job is what we do is we gather witness statements, okay? We also search for video cameras. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a couple of your neighbors had video cameras mm -hmm. and wanted to get your house pretty well. Mm -hmm. Okay, your front door was locked, your back door was locked. Nobody came in okay. through the garage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we were hundreds and hundreds of murders. Mm -hmm. Okay, and sometimes we we were cold blooded killers. Mm -hmm. They just on the street that would just kill somebody for nothing. Okay. Then sometimes we mark murders that they're in an argument and something happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's two different types of people. Do you understand? Because if you argue with somebody and you lose it, no. your temper and an argument That's happens. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. And I think I'm going to stop talking now because. I think I'm going to need a lawyer because I know how this works. I was the only one in the house, so of course. Who else would be in the house? No one would have, would, that I know of, no one. No one would have been in there. But we wouldn't have left the garage door open either. You would have closed the garage door. I never use that side. Okay. I never use that well, side. What we're trying to do is get as much information we possibly can. You understand that? So we can narrow down times and, and all that stuff. Okay? So that's what we're working on here. And if somebody did come into your house and hurt your husband, we have to figure that out. I want you to figure that out. Okay, and so that's why we're. Tr I'm trying to get more specific detail from you. You understand? Yes. And so that's part of our job here. If there's a if there's a camera in the front of the house, there's the back of the house too. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you're in the house, and your husband's in the house, and your husband's dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know, I know that. I know that. So I know how it looks. But I was also tied up and there's I couldn't that's just myself off. I put the robe on and then I dried myself off and then I went and changed and I put this robe on. And you changed inside the closet? Yes. And when you changed, what, what did you, you said you put that robe on, did you put any underclothes on? Yes. Do you remember what, what you put on? 
Yeah, pair of underwear. What color? I don't remember. Lavender, maybe. Okay. What about a bra? No. Any any kind of undershirt or anything like that? Just this uh, this thing here. That's it. Okay. The the black. This is a kind of a bra thing. Okay. Um. And. You said you're still wondering where he's at at that time, right? You haven't heard from him. How long has it been? No. How long had it been from the time he got out to go check the dogs to the time you got out and went and got dressed? About 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And he was mm -hmm. supposed to just go move them and come back, right? Right. So what noises were you hearing? when you got out? Nothing, the jacuzzi was still going. So, you said you hadn't had much to drink. You're coherent, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what, what are you hearing before you said that you blacked out? Nothing. Nobody running, nobody saying anything, shouting? No. Nothing. You understand where I'm going with those questions? I understand, but I didn't hear anything. I have with, in, with you inside the jacuzzi. What? What all did you have inside the jacuzzi when y'all were inside there? What did we have? Mm -hmm. To drink? No. What 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 all items were in the jacuzzi with y'all? Nothing. I mean, I've I've been in there since, and I've, I see what's there. There's nothing in there. Just bubble bath. That's it. Did you have a float thing that was no. in there, like a little? It's like a shell. Oh, a pillow, yes. Okay. Any anything else? No. Nothing I can think of. Did you leave any clothing in there? No. Didn't have a washcloth or anything like that in there with you. Uh yeah, we had a no, we didn't have a washcloth. We had a loofah thing. Okay. But you didn't hear any noises. It's just real important that you try to recall. I mean, like like my partner said, you know, we're not uh, we're not sitting there trying to talk bad about you. It's just that you're the only thing, you're the only one we had to talk to that was there when whatever happened happened. Okay. And that's why it's so important. You know, for you to try to recall. I wish I could recall. I my memory is so bad. I'm just. And you know, I know um, you. You met with EMS. EMS yeah. checked you at the scene, right? Okay. And only you can tell us if you're hurting somewhere. It's like I ask you. You know, where you have pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when they checked you, did, did they ask you if, uh, I mean, if, if, if a suspect unknown, if somebody that, you know, a stranger somehow came in your house and made you go unconscious, did anybody violate you in any way? No. I told them I had, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I was hit on the head but not sexually or assaulted shot. or anything no. like that. Okay, it's just important that we have to ask. I think I would know. Okay. So you heard no shouting, nobody saying anything, no running? No. All I 
heard after that when when I woke up was the dogs crying or whining that was it okay do you know how long you had been out at that point no. is there anything that you looked at in there was there a clock or anything inside yeah. your closet with the lights on in your closet yeah. Yeah. Okay. And when you woke up, were you tied up then? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I was tied up the first time I woke up because. And what did you do when you woke up the first time? I couldn't move because. I had a seizure, and, and so I usually can't move anyway. I hurt all over, and my head hurts. How often do you have seizures like that? I've been getting them more lately. I'm not able to drive anymore. How frequent? Um, at least once a month, maybe. The auras, I get them all the time. Do you take medication mm -hmm. for that? Okay. And... When was the last time that you had one of those before today? Uh, about a month ago at home. Um, and what happens when you have those seizures? Do you, uh, do, do you what's the symptoms? How, how do you feel when you have those? Well, I have aura uh, signs that tell me that I'm going to have one. And it's like very forgetful, more than usual. Did you have one of those today? Yeah, I've been having it all week, actually all month. So have you been forgetting things all month? Mm-hmm. And, and do you ever recall what you've forgotten later on? Some things. Some things I don't. Um, when I, when um, before and right after, I, sometimes I can't even tell you my name. Okay. And let me ask you this. When I asked okay. you before, you didn't answer my question. Why are we here? Do you know what has happened today? My husband was murdered. How? I don't know. I don't think he was shot. Uh, what do you I understand? Heard what, do you, it. what do you understand has happened? Yeah, who told you that he was murdered? I saw him. You did? Yes. When they untied me, I heard hysterical screaming, and I ran over there, and I checked his pulse. Okay. To see if there was anything we could do. Yeah, I saw him. Okay. I didn't know that. Saw him. And you touched him. Yes. You touched his wrist. I touched his neck. Okay. Okay. It's freezing cold. And I know I shouldn't have touched him, but then I covered him. And I know I shouldn't have done that. What'd you cover him with? You know, something that was laying next to him, a jacket. Was it a blue jacket? Was it his jacket? Yeah. Let's go back to uh, when you went to CVS. It's like a dream nightmare. You said you mentioned that when y'all were at CVS. Who, who went in at CVS? Did both of you go in? No, he did. He did? He waited? And at what point did you think that somebody was following you? We were driving down Gessner because he was just right next, right behind us. There's another lane and we wouldn't go around. Were right you looking at him in the rear view mirror or the side mirror? Are you looking at the I person? could see him on the side mirror, the car. I couldn't see a person. It was too dark. Could you tell if there was just one person in there? Or? No, I couldn't see anything inside the car. In that car, you, you're saying car. Was it a car? Not a truck? I don't know what it was. 
It was like a big vehicle, a small vehicle. It was vehicle. a big vehicle. Yeah. I don't know if it was a truck. It could have been an SUV. Maybe it was an SUV. Did you tell anything about the color? Pass any Black. lights, any street Black. lights? And I don't remember if there's any street lights between us. Okay, and you said that when you turned on your street, it went on? No, it, no. It turned into our subdivision. Behind you? Mm-hmm. Okay. But then it took a left and we took a right. And when it took a left, did you uh, look back to see what it looked like? No. No, we just said, oh, it was just a coincidence and just kept going. Okay. Do you remember seeing that vehicle when you were parked at CVS? No. Mm -mm. Where did y'all park? I wasn't park? paying attention. Where did y'all park at CVS? Um, at away from the door, like the third lane away from the, the main lane. We parked it far away. So... If the door is here, you park the third parking space over here? No, the third row away. Okay. From the, not the first row, but like the third row back. Okay. Um, was, it, was it busy at CVS? No. Not a lot of cars? Why'd y'all park so far away? Because you said like to get the cars going. So there were some cars. Yeah, there were a few. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time y'all got into an argument? Like I said, when my daughter lived with us. So how long ago was that? It was about five years ago. Where does she live? England. Why England? She got married. She um, supposed to be moving back. Her, in, um, her and her husband? To uh, College Station. Mm. So, um, you know, my partner explained to you about the front door everything mm -hmm. we, we checked your house over real good yeah and um what's your feelings on how this happened or what has happened i i don't know why the garage door was open that that doesn't make sense to me because we don't use that one we use the other one for my car and that was it we don't open both. So it's rare for that side of the garage to be open? Only when my husband's working. Which he was that day, but in the daytime, not at night. And he didn't leave it open when y'all left? No. To go eat and everything, right? It wasn't no. open when you came home? No. Was that door open with the garage door open? Yeah. Both of them do? Both. Can you do it accessing it through the garage? Yes. Okay. And y'all have uh, the ones in the vehicle that can open them? Yeah. In both vehicles? Yes. Okay. So if that door is closed and you are inside, somebody would have to open it from the inside in order to get that open. Mm -hmm. You can't go on the outside and, and pull it open. No. So I guess last last Saturday night when you went to jacuzzi, you never left the house after that morning. Mm -hmm. No. Were y'all cleaning up that day? Um, yeah, because of his family coming today. 
I mean, I'm always cleaning up after the puppies, so we don't. Did you have any cleaning stuff out today? Or yesterday? I always get the mop, mop in the bucket. And where was that at? Is it in the kitchen or? Or in the dining area? I don't remember where I left it last. Is there any other way besides you have the front door, the back door, and the kitchen door? Is there any other doors that anybody can get access into the house? No. On the uh, the kitchen door that leads to the garage, do y'all keep that locked? No. I never keep that locked. I don't even think it locks. I don't know that it locks. Has your house ever been burglarized? Not this one. Y'all lived there how long? Maybe seven years. I don't remember. Never had a burglary. Well, we had the kids' takes and stuff. Friends of my daughter, drug addicts, took some stuff. How long ago was that? That was. I think that was five years ago, right before she left. Does your husband have any enemy, any enemies? No. Did you have any enemies? No. No, we don't. Everybody likes him. He gets along with him. Either one of y'all use any any drugs? No. Any illegal drugs? Not at all. No. And that's not why we're here, but no, we, we have don't. to ask. No. We just don't. We have several businesses, or he does. He's always into something. So he works where? HISD. Mr. HISD? And what else does he do? He has several rental properties. And, uh. How many? Um. Uh. Three right now, I think. He has five, but I think it's three now. What else? Um, he also manages his mom's rental property, so four, I guess. Uh, we have like a billing service for doctors, but my daughter does most of the work. And he kind of just manages it. So she does that from England? Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, that's it right now. Any problem with the people that rent those properties? Do you know 
all the people that rent those four properties? And does he go and collect the rent in person, or does they send it? Sometimes. Uh, one of them deposits it into the bank account, and the other two he goes in. Yeah, one he picks up. Um, what part of town? One in Missouri City, one in Ailey. Um, one near where we are. And what's the other one? Um, Are you able to give me all the names and addresses of those places? I have to look it up on the computer. Okay. We're going to want to do that. Okay. Uh, and I need to know the places that he goes and picks them up in person. Names of the people that rent. Okay. And you don't know of any of the business. You don't know of any problems with anybody collecting from or any... Are there any people that he's ever talked about were shady or? Well, with his mom's property, he had some trouble, but I don't, I think that's been re fixed, resolved or whatever. Um, trouble with who? With, I don't remember the whole story. Um, he was going to have to evict them. His mother? Oh, she doesn't live on that property. That's no. just something she owns. Right. Okay, and it's where's that located at? In Haiti. Okay. I can't uh, remember why he's gonna <coughs> How long ago was that? Maybe three months ago. Okay. Um, I'm so bad with time I just I just I'm taking guesses here. Um So he was gonna have to evict them. They weren't paying rent? No, it something that they were doing that the homeowners association wanted them out. Okay. I can't remember what it was that they were doing. And what problem was he having with them? He was telling them they needed to. I think they were breeding dogs, pit bulls, or something. I don't remember. He told them they couldn't do that. He was gonna have to let them go. And how'd that go? <clears throat> the, the husband got upset and called my husband and told him that, you know, it wasn't fair and all that, that they were doing that. I just don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Okay, what do you I think? I just don't think that's it. We're listening. I don't know what it is, but I just... Is there somebody else that you feel like might be responsible? I can't think of anybody. No. Okay. Well, let me ask you something. It's all procedure to, for us to talk to you. Okay. We want to find out the answer to this as bad as you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do. We really do. And we're not trying to cause you trouble or cause you pain. But we have a procedure. Are you familiar with a polygraph exam? Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to take a polygraph exam? Yeah. Okay. We uh, have a person that's going to come here. He's probably I here now. I can't do it now. I'm just a nervous wreck right now. Okay, well let me I explain, just can't do let it me now. explain this. <clears throat> and I'd rather get a, talk to a lawyer about it because I, I already, I already feel like, you know, I know where this is going. Okay, well I want you to understand that, you know, our motive is to try to find out what happened to your husband. Mm -hmm. Just like I told you. I know. And our procedure is to do that now. Now, I understand that you're upset. I understand that you've been through a lot. This person that does this is a professional and is able to filter for that. They're able to work through that. 
and I want you to meet with him and talk to him no matter if you take the exam or not okay and that way they can explain that to you because I'm not a polygraph examiner I'm not a professional at that but I'm telling you that you know that's what we're trying to do we're not trying to pin something on you we're not trying to get you to say that you've done something that you haven't done okay we're merely trying to go through the procedure so that later on when we're asked you know we can tell you that that's what we've done we've done our procedure we've done our job okay and I'm asking you to also you know try to dig deep I understand that you said that you were you were struck and that you went unconscious I understand that but I'm asking you to really dig you know, dig deep because you know you were there you I don't weren't. think I went unconscious okay I mean, I think having a seizure is different from going, I mean, it's okay. the same. I understand. It's the same. You it's said that you, when, you, when you've had those experiences, that you forget things, and we understand that. But, you know, and I'm not a doctor, but I'm asking you, you know, of course, for you and for us, for your husband's sake, you know, if you can dig down and try to remember anything that might help us, that's what we want to try to do. Okay, Sandra, that's a, <clears throat> excuse me, that's our that's our sole purpose for while we're here. You know, we don't know you, you don't know us. Didn't know your husband. But that's our job is to try to find out the truth. Okay, and that's what we're gonna try to do. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe talking to a professional like that may help you to remember something too that has been a case in the past.